channel for today's video I have my September favorites so if you want to know what I have been loving for this month then just keep on watching so I'm gonna start with my Too Faced Hangover 3 in 1 replenishing primer and setting spray this has coconut water probiotic based ingredients and skin revivers and I have been loving this to prep and to also set my face I do have oily skin and I do have a problem with foundations like just disappearing from my face because I get so so oily so this helps my prime this helps my foundation stay on for the whole whole day and I have been loving this is actually the second bottle I had to go buy this one because I couldn't do my makeup without it okay, these two right here are the magnificent metal glitter and glow liquid eyeshadows from Stila and I have three right here which I have been loving and I have the colors um, diamond dust smoldering satin and kitten karma and I have been wearing two of them on my eyes right now. I have Kevin Karma on my lower lash line and I have Diamond Dust on my inner corner, which I have, I love having that inner corner um, like glittery. I just love the pop of glitter. I tend to wear the Diamond Dust almost every day just because I love how these look right here like in the inner corner. Next, I have two foundations here that I have been loving. Um, like I said, I do have oily skin, so these have been amazing on my skin lately they actually stay on the whole day and the first one is the Milani Conceal and Perfect and if you if you watch my other videos I have not been able to get away from this foundation it's just an amazing foundation and it's from drugstore which is uh, around like eight to nine dollars which is amazing and the other one I have here is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation this is a more high-end but it's an amazing foundation amazing coverage uh, as well as for oily skin it just stays in the whole day Next, I have um, the eyeliner that I have been loving. Um, it's just super, super easy to do an eyeliner with a brush. And this is the Inglot number 77. It's just your typical black eyeliner. But this is like super black, super matte, and I have been loving this to do my eyeliner. Okay, so I'm not big on like cream contouring or highlighting, except with like concealer. Um, but I have been loving these two um, cream contours right here. The first one, this is from Sonia Kashuk and it is a um, undetectable cream bronzer and this is in the color Warm Tan. It's just a really, really nice color just to bronze around my face and I have been loving this for contouring as well. And then the other right here, this is actually, I bought it on like by a mistake um, in cream form. I was looking for a powder, just this color. Uh, but when I got home, I saw that it was cream, uh, but I have been loving, this is more of an ashy undertone, um, and it is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Compact Makeup, and it's a cream makeup, and this is in the color N4, and it's this one right here. It is really, really pretty, It's it has a perfect undertone for me to just um, do a little bit of co uh, cream contouring, which... I have been loving lately thanks to those two compacts. Next, I have two blushes which I have been in love with. The first one is the Milani Baked Blush in the color Bellissimo. And it's just a really peachy, orangey um, blush. And it's the one that I'm wearing today. And it's so pretty. It has a little bit of like golden like um, undertone to it. As you can see, it has a little bit of shimmer. And it gives you a really nice like um, color to your cheeks. It's just very summery and I'm just trying to get the best of it before fall comes in. And then the other blush I have here, this is in the color Copper Tone and it is from MAC Cosmetics. Um, this one is more on the like mauve pink side. Um, and I think this is going to be perfect for when fall comes around. Um, but yeah, it's so, so pretty. It's that one right there. It's more a uh, more mauve color. And like I said, this is Copper Tone from MAC Cosmetics. The next product I have here has been a lifesaver. This is the Inglot uh, Duraline uh, little liquid here. I bought this one off, I believe, Camera Ready Cosmetics online. And it has been amazing to just revive those um, pomades that are a little bit dry. My eyeliner was getting a little bit dry and just with a couple of drops, um, it makes it as if it's brand new. And it is just amazing to just give it that kick to your products so they don't dry up. And then the last product I have here, this is the Batiste, Batiste Dry Shampoo and mine is in the Floral and Flirty Blush. Um, now with ble being blonde, I don't wash my hair that often. Like I think I, I like wash my hair like one to twice a week. Um, but this has been a lifesaver. I tend to get oily back here in the back of my head. 
um, and this just like takes away that it's really really easy to use you just with dry shampoo you just shake it a little bit and then um, just spray it on like your roots and then you just massage it so like you don't have like a white cast and then it gives I love it also because it gives you a lot of like volume and like that like va va boom that you need um, but yeah, I have been loving this shampoo. Um, I've tried several ones, but they tend to leave more of a white residue and it just doesn't weigh and it's really, really annoying. Um, so yeah, this is the Batiste, Batiste Dry Shampoo. So that is it for my September favorites. I really hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the little button down there. And as always, all of the products that I mentioned today are going to be linked down in the description box as well as all my social media. And until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!